Hey everybody, it's Matt the Grower here live from the Sure to Grow studio. It's been a long time since I've talked with you, but what we're about to do is something that's completely landmark and completely new to the industry. We're going to introduce a series of videos in which we're going to discuss which hydroponic system is right for you, and then we're going to build some of those systems so that you can build them at home. To my right, Jeremy Borger. Hello everyone, glad to be here again. Well, I'm glad to have you because I know nothing about uh, hydroponic systems, and we're going to kind of go through a couple of the... There's a lot of different hydroponic systems out there. There's like a bajillion. Okay, but we're not going to cover a bajillion today. No, we don't have that time. We're going to cover four. Four. Four or so. Uh, the first one being the, the top drip system. What's a top drip system? A top drip system is um, really automating the process of hand watering from the top. Instead of you coming into your garden every day with a two and a half gallon you know, watering can and watering each one of your plants, as romantic and as much of a hobby as that is. Yeah, I enjoy doing that. Well, I can imagine you probably do. But for those of us who have multiple sites, you know, more than five, six, 10, 12 sites, it becomes tedious. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is we can automate that process. Top drip is nice because it's very inexpensive to build. Okay. If you don't even know what a tool is, you can build a top drip system. Okay, great. Uh, and and to be honest with you, it doesn't get any cheaper, easier, or, or the transition for someone who is in traditional agriculture, mm -hmm. transition is seamless to top drip. Okay, so it's cheap and easy. Yep. Uh, those are the good things. Now, what are the bad things? Why would you not want to use a top drip system? Well, here's the thing with the top drip system. Other than just automating the process, that's all it does. Mm -hmm. it's, it really doesn't provide you with any technological benefit in hydroponics other than automating the process. So say you go on vacation and you don't want your house plants to die. A top drip system would be perfect for you. You can put it on a timer, you know, that goes off like every second or third day, mm -hmm. doses each plant with X amount of nutrients, say that's a half gallon, a gallon, depending on the size of the plant. And you don't have to worry about it. Your plants look lush and beautiful and you didn't have to do a darn thing. Okay, okay. So if you're just getting started in hydroponics, your first system, top drip is a good way to go. Top drip is the way to go. It's okay. just not tremendously performance oriented. All right. Uh, next system, flood and drain. What is a flood and drain system? A uh, flood and drain system is really basic. You have a reservoir and then you have a tray or a table or a vessel or you know, a, t a table that sits on top. And what happens is, you know, four to six times, eight times, 10 times a day, a pump kicks on and floods or fills that entire table with nutrient solution, therefore saturating all the substrate that's inside of it, whether those are plants contained in pots, blocks sitting on top of slabs, whatever, it's your choice. But it fills that void with water, and then as that water retreats, it pulls fresh, uh, fresh oxygen back into the substrate. Okay, so what are the good things about a flood and drain system? Flood and drain systems are exceptionally easy to build once again. You have a tray, you have a pump, a couple tubes, and a timer. Really easy to build. Okay. Relatively inexpensive, more expensive than top drip, less ex expensive than, say, an aeroponic system. Okay. Um, the problem is with top drip, or with flood and drain, uh, rather, is that a lot of times it has a tendency to oversaturate the media. Okay, it gets too, too wet. Way too wet, okay. and what that will lead to sometimes is pythium and damping off. And when left unchecked, that will kill your plants. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good thing. Damping off is never good. We don't want pythium. We definitely don't want damping off. All right, finally, uh, or the third system, raft slash DWC. Now, you said that a raft and a DWC are kind of the same thing. For all intents and purposes, a DWC system or deep water culture system is where you suspend plants in net pots in a highly oxygenated bath. Okay. That's the definition. What I've done and what I've introduced to some of my uh, viewers before is something that I call the super modified raft. I take a flood table setup and instead of flooding and draining it multiple times throughout the course of the day, I just keep that nutrient solution recirculating. So take your flood and drain system mm -hmm. and instead of flooding and draining it, take that interval timer off and just plug that thing in and let it run. Okay. And by doing that, you fill the vessel with a given amount of nutrient solution that's constantly recirculating. This gives the plants fresh oxygen in the root zone and fresh nutrients whenever they're feeding. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. And the way I accomplish that is, you know, you fill the vessel and then you take some construction foam, place it on top just like a raft and let it float there, cut some holes out, set the pots in it, and they just kind of rock back and forth like they're on vacation. Nice. And that's why it's called a raft system, because there's something floating on the yeah, top. See? That all makes sense. Not a misnomer. Now. So what are the uh, so what are the good things about the system? What are some of the bad things? Uh, everything is good about it. Oh, everything's good. And except for the fact that it is somewhat energy intensive to run. Okay. You have to run the pump 24-7. And then you also have to run your air pump 24 So your electric well. bill is going to be going up if you're using one. A little more expensive with the raft than, say, a standard flood drain or a top drip. Okay, but other, other than that, good stuff all around. Performance-wise, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty performance-oriented system. Okay, cool. And then finally, the aeroponic system. Now, aero sounds like air. 
which when hydro is water, I'm confused, Matt. Yeah, uh, easily, I understand. Yeah. Uh, an aeroponic system is just that. You're right, though. It's the introduction of more air. You're increasing the ratio of oxygen to water. So instead of introducing air to a bath of water, what we're actually going to do is we're going to spray the roots. Okay. We're going to use either micro sprayers, micro sprinklers, or foggers to coat the roots with this very, very oxygen-rich nutrient solution. Okay. Now that sounds like kind of a, a complex system if you're making little mini showers for all your plants. It is a complex system. I, I, I tell people it's the Mercedes-Benz of systems. Okay. If this is something that you're doing for a career or a profession. The Cadillac? No. The, oh, no, not Cadillac. No. All right, well, anyway. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a system that provides your plants with the most technologically advanced approach to hydroponics. If, okay. Like as I was saying, if this is a career or profession that you're going to pursue, Aeroponics is for you. Okay. The problem is because the emitters have such small orifices in which they spray the nutrient solution out, they have a tendency to become clogged. Okay. If they become clogged, the plants are no longer receiving nutrient and then they fail. So it's a system that needs to be checked on regularly to perform optimally. So not for beginners. Definitely not for beginners. Okay. If you were building a model, this would become the advanced or expert selection. Okay, cool. Now you're actually going to walk everyone through how to build each one of these systems in this in this video series. That's correct. Okay. Um, all the stuff that you're going to see here can be easily uh, sourced from sources wherever you live. Uh, Home Depots, Lowe's, those types of big box retail stores have 90% of the products that you need. The other remaining part you can get from irrigation suppliers. Okay. So to get more information on any one of these systems, you can go to suretogrowvideo.com and we'll have all the, uh, all the videos there for you. Matt, I'm excited to learn more. I'm excited to tell you more. Great. Have a great day once again. Great growing. Peace.